Hi everybody, it's the Banana Bro here, back with another video. So today I'm gonna be getting the Pirate 101 walkthrough with my friend Cerise, and we're doing a um. I'm going to be a swashbuckler, and she's going to be a um musketeer, and yeah. So here I am outside of the entrance zone to the first area of the game, uh, Skull Mountain. So for those of you who do not know, uh, Pirate 101 is a, um, tactical RPG, it's, like, turn-based, and you have, like, a battle board, and you, like, move around on it. If you ever play Pokemon Conquest or Fire Emblem, it's a bit like that, uh, it's pretty fun. It's made by the same people who make Wizard 101 and Alpha Cat, uh, King's Isle, and it's been around since, like, 2011 or 2010 or 2012, I want to say. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's been around since, since uh... 2012, so, first of all, please mind my, um, voice, I have pretty bad allergies right now, and, um, yeah, so this is the first area, and we're talking to Bonnie Ann right now, we're going after Captain Avery's lost jade amulet during this part, and it's been stolen by some shark dude named Finn, and that's basically what we're doing, we gotta do that, and yeah. So, with me right now, in the background, he's still talking to Bonnie and the fox musketeer is, uh, Cerise, the, uh, musketeer, and yeah, that's my horse dude talking, he's pretty spiffy if you ask me, pretty snazzy actually, um, so, I don't know how my audio quality will actually be. Uh, so this is one of the battle boards. The battle board get, get uh, significantly bigger, and um, yeah, this battle board is extremely small for the game. And there is the, my musketeer friend using a um, very overpowered powered called um, gunnery, which drops bombs automatically, which is pretty overpowered if you ask me. Anyway, so I'm going to backstab the trogi, and I'm going to also mega strike it. Which should be significant enough to do some damage to it, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, this is basically the gist of the game, and um, I don't really know what else to say. We're going back to get our first companion besides our horse dude, which is Bonnie Ann, which is pretty cool if you ask me. I like Bonnie Ann. I use her on my max level witch doctor, well, not quite max level, uh, but yeah. Bonnie Ann isn't very good at first, but once you get her to become a fox highlander and a fox sniper and all that good stuff, she becomes pretty, pretty good if you ask me. A lot of people use her. We also use a companion that comes with the Empire Bundle called Nazika. Nazika is a pretty overpowered companion, so is Chantal, but... All the, all, every single class gets an overpowered companion. Swashbucklers get, um, Van Flanders. Buccaneers get, uh, Peter Quint. Um, Musketeers get Chantal. Privateers get... I don't know who Privateers actually get. Um, I do not recall. Who is it that, um the last class gets, um, I always forget one. Duh, which doctor's my favorite class in the game? Um, they get Carcarius Greentooth, which is a pretty cool shark dude. He has a nice buff, a nice counter buff, and a pretty cool AoE. And he also has Mojo Echo 3, which is pretty nice, if you ask me. And, uh, yeah, so, we're just throwing catapults because reasons, and for some reason the designers decided to make us destroy the catapults in a very controversial order. Like, we destroy the last catapult, then we destroy the first catapult, then we destroy the middle catapult, like, why don't we destroy the first catapult, then the middle catapult, then the last catapult? I don't even know. Whatever. It's pretty confusing if you ask me. I don't know. So, um... I actually should have brought water for this commentating. I am commentating way too much. You guys might be getting tired of my voice, but I don't really care. Because, yeah. Anyways. So, we're talking to Lieutenant Spawn right now. 
It's actually really weird. There aren't very many humans in the game past Skull Island. Once you get into like Monquista and Valencia and uh uh S Quilranch. There's a uh, Quilranch is kind of a bit of a long world, um if you ever played Pirate 101, you know that Cool Ranch is kind of really, really long. <laughs> yeah, Cool Ranch is kind of long. So yeah, oh, please don't get me, Mr. Trogi, please. Oh, thank God. Please, you spared me, Mr. Trogi. You're so generous. Thank you. Thank you. Just making sure I have fast combat on because slow combat sucks. No, I do not have fast combat on. Oh, goody goody gun drops. Just gotta make sure it is on because that little cutscene. Nope, it did not turn on. There we go, now we have fast combat on. Fast combat is pretty nice. Believe it or not, it actually makes makes combat faster. Like can you believe it? Fast combat makes combat faster? I mean like who would have who would have guessed? When you're talking about how fast combat makes things faster, you know you don't have anything to talk about. I mean, it's it's Skull Island. What do you want me to talk about? It's nothing special. I mean, like when you, like Jonah Town's pretty cool. I like Jonah Town, but and Flotsam, but somebody's gonna get on my case for saying Flotsam instead of Flotsam. Floats them instead of floats them. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. So, Skull Island is really easy. Um. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just trying to commentate and I don't have anything to commentate about. So, instead of commentating, I'm gonna put on some music for the rest of this. And, yeah. Uh, bye guys until the end. <laughs>